Hey everyone, and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're gonna to take a look at a brand new 2022 Salem Villa 40 FDEN destination trailer. We're gonna take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then we're gonna close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. Don't have a huge amount of time to get into a bunch of details like I normally do, but we're gonna spin through this one real quick and show you what it's all about. All right, guys, we are now up inside the brand new 2022 Salem Villa 40 FDEN. We're gonna start up here in the front living room area and kind of spin our way through. So up front, you have three completely freestanding reclining chairs. So you can kind of move those around if you want. The little end table on the left does have some storage in there. Large amount of overhead cabinet space. Three big windows overlooking the front of the RV. The one in the middle opens. Then you do have a smaller one on the left, which also opens. Now over here you have your 32 inch Greystone electric fireplace. It's basically a fancy electric space heater, but they do kind of knock the chill off on a cold weather. Furion sound bar just above there. Then you have prepping for King Wi-Fi. You have the cable inlet slash satellite inlet, and you also have an electric outlet there as well. And then the wall is backed for a TV to be mounted here. You'll see a little sticker usually on the wall that'll kind of tell you where the backer's at. Mostly linoleum floor up here in this section, but this is a very large flush floor super slide. And they do put some carpet and stuff in this area, really to kind of help keep that slide from coming in and damaging the linoleum is the main reason it's there for. Kind of helps hide all the mechanisms and stuff. And it's pretty easy to replace in the future when you need to replace it. Huge windows in this slide out area here. All of the windows do open. You have pull down roller shade blinds in this area. Tall slide outs here so you don't have to worry about, well, most people don't have to worry about uh, when you stand up out of the couch or recliner hitting your head. You got quite a bit of room up here. Extra tall ceilings. 110 volt ceiling fan instead of a 12 volt version. The sofa will flip out and make into a bed. That sofa is also freestanding. So if you wanted to move the sofa over here, you could move the recliner down to the other side. However, you want to kind of arrange this area a little bit. You can kind of maneuver things around a little bit. Now this one was ordered with the booth dinette. There is some storage, there's little doors on the ends where you could open it up and store some stuff in there. That dinette will also make into a bed. Now you can also order these with freestanding table and chairs as well. You have your fire extinguisher down here, propane leak detector, some light switches here, high rise spring sprayer faucet, does have an undermount stainless sink. It is a dual bowl sink with the little strainer cover there. Two electric outlets on this side. Here is kind of your main control area for slides, outside speakers, ceiling light switch, water heater gas button. Uh, you do have your monitor panel and battery controls and stuff all right here. Dimmer switch for some lights along with the ceiling fan switch as well. Decent amount of overhead cabinet space here. Can you have some more above your Whirlpool microwave here? Does have the larger microwave.
currently using the Furion oven. So it does have a light built into the oven, has the glass front, the lit up knobs, three burner stove top, has a fold down glass lid. Uh, it's kind of nice having that lid there. One, it acts as a little bit of a backsplash, but also it gives you a little more counter space when you're not actually cooking. And down below here, have some storage, a little trash can down there, looks like they put. Some more storage. Your water heater is underneath of here also. So when you go to winterize and stuff in the winter, the water heater bypass and stuff is right back there. And you do have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers in the RV as well. The window back here does open. Looking back up at the ceiling here, you can see one of the two Coleman AC systems. 15,000 BTU ducted air system. So you can let it blow out the little round ducts or you can open up the little ends and let it blow out at the main unit. I basically have the Whirlpool residential refrigerator here. A Little bit of overhead cabinet space above that. And then here we have a large pantry area. Central vac, little dustpan vac and stuff down there on the end of the wall. Large window that does open in the hallway area. Smoke detector up above. Your two thermostats, one for the uh, front air conditioner, one for the back air conditioner, and then the one for the front air also works the furnace. In here we have our bathroom area. It's so kind of looking up top here, you can see there is a vent fan up there. There's also a skylight up here. You have air conditioning and heat both in here. Uh, glass sh uh, sliding shower doors here. It is a two-piece ABS tub surround, has the sit-down seat in there. There is some storage for your towels and linens and stuff over here. Now this customer ordered it with the residential toilet. They're gonna park this thing permanently and plumb it into the sewer system. So they didn't want the regular RV style toilet. Over here, you do have some shelf space and some storage space, a little bit of counter space around your sink area. And you have a really nice big mirror area here. And you'll notice above the cabinets and stuff, there is a little bit of space up there where you could set some decorative stuff. Same thing back in the kitchen area up there. Again, you have these extra tall ceiling heights in these park models or destination trailers. So you can kind of decorate them up a little bit better. Back into the bedroom area here. You have six dresser drawers. Again, full extending ball bearing drawer got a drawers couple big windows in this RV section here and again they do open. There are TV hookups here so if you wanted to maybe set a TV on the dresser or maybe mount a smaller TV up above the dresser area or above the back window um, you know you can kind of set that up and do that if you want. Make sure obviously you hit a stud so you got some bracing for your TV. Room to maneuver around the bed. The bed will raise up, so there is storage under here. Camper King bed does have some overhead cabinet space up above there as well. And you have little directional reading lights. Kind of see your space up here. Window on each side of the bed does open. Electric outlet and USB charger ports on both sides of the bed. You have little end tables on each side of the bed too. Now this one was ordered with carpet in the bedroom area. You have three more drawers over here. An exit door. And then you have some hanging closet space here too. And same thing over here. Just basically a big wardrobe area. 
Looking back up here again, you can see that second AC system. All right, guys, we are going to head back outside. I want to show you the outside of the RV, and then we're going to come back in and close it up so you can see what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the new Salem Villa 40F Den, and we're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, this one was ordered with the optional fiberglass exterior. So normally it comes standard with a metal siding or aluminum siding. And this one, again, was ordered with the optional fiberglass. So starting up front here, there is your main entry to the RV. You have a sliding glass door here, triple entrance step, now, they kind of figure you're going to park this thing somewhere and basically build a deck. And that's actually what this customer was supposed to be doing. They ordered it without the awning feature also, because they're going to build a deck around it and put kind of a roof around it as well. So talk with your sales guy, depending on exactly how you want to order it. But that is an available feature if you don't want to do that. Down below, you can see one of the four stabilizer jacks and also enclosed underbelly. Now, some people want these stabilizer jacks. Some people don't order them that way. They're going to block them, take the wheels off, tie them down, all that type of stuff. Um, so depending, again, how you want to order yours, talk with your sales guy so you guys make sure you order it properly. Large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out of the RV. This one was ordered with the 10 gallon gas and electric water heater, which is located right here, the big black square. You have two outdoor speakers. They do have the little blue lights there also. The furnace exhausts out right here. You also have an electric outlet and a cable outlet here as well. The stove exhaust just above the window there. Dual axle unit, four wheel drum brakes. Rear entry door here does give you a triple entrance step as well. Traditional RV entry door and screen door on the back. You do have the little porch light up above. Now down below here, you can see the low point water drain. Also, just to kind of get you an idea, you can see these little tie downs here. And there's a few of those on the frame of the RV. So you can, uh, depending on where you're at, some places call it uh, hurricane strapping or you know just a tie down, that kind of thing. So a lot of people, when they buy these things, take them down south to Florida, Texas, Arizona, places like that, and they'll block them and then park them permanently. And they'll strap those things down. So if you are gonna do that, uh, again, talk with your sales guy, you may or may not want those jacks. City water inlet is right here on the rear. Cable inlet is also on the rear of the RV. And then your detachable power cord is also here on the rear end of the RV. Now this area right here goes underneath the main bed area. Just in front of the slide out area here behind the axles is your main dump area here for your gray, black, galley, kind of everything comes out right here in this one area. The slide outs are prepped for slide out awning covers. So depending on how you're going to set it up, you may or may not want to get slide out awning covers on the RV. Now on around to the front side of the slide here, just in front of the slide are some main data stickers. We're going to pop those up for you guys here real quick so you can check these out. The first one is the main data sticker basically showing you production date, 
axle sizes, VIN numbers, but most importantly here, it's telling you the gross vehicle weight of the RV. Don't exceed that. Next is your unloaded vehicle weight, basically telling you how much the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and also the length of the RV. Next after that is gonna be your cargo carrying capacity sticker. And on the cargo carrying capacity sticker, it's basically just telling you how much gear you can load into the RV before you exceed that gross weight. Next up is your tire sticker, just basically telling you tire size and proper tire pressure. Remember guys, if you are gonna tow something like this around, make sure you check the tire pressure. You do not want to let the pressure drop too low because then your tires can't hold the weight properly and they'll blow out a lot easier. Now up front here, there is a battery disconnect down here to detach the battery basically when you're putting it in storage. Heavy duty safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug. You have a manual tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, two 30 pound propane tanks under the hard cover there. And you can see back in behind there is a battery. Uh, it comes with zero batteries from the RV manufacturer. So make sure your dealer does include one with the RV. It comes with one deep cycle interstate battery from the guys at Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. All right, guys, we're gonna head back inside. I wanna show you around the inside as far as closing it up. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now back inside the new 2022 Salem Villa 40F den. We're gonna close up the slides. So just real quick, you can come back in to your main control panel and run the slides in here if you are able to get into your front door. Now, if for some reason you have misplaced the front door key or something, you can also come in your back door, which would be a different key. And there's another button right here to do the same thing. So we are going to run in the bedroom slide first here. Basically this thing is coming straight in, straight out. Um, it does come in just a smidgen above the main floor. Um, so it is kind of a flush floor slide, so it does kind of drop down and come up a hair. But when it comes in, you can see it gets pretty close to your dresser area here. And if you need to, you could kind of climb over the bed a little bit to get over there. You can squeeze through here if you are a small person and go on up to the front as long as the main slide is still open. When the main slide closes, you're not getting past that area. So it's kind of the reason they put two separate buttons in this thing. So depending on what's going on, how you're trying to get in and out of here, you may or may not need that extra button. So going back up front here, just to kind of show you how this works up here, when we run it in from here, we're also going to be moving the bed first. So right now the bed is coming in off of this front one. And when it stops, our main slide is gonna come in next. And again, this main slide comes in over the floor. So it kind of comes in at an angle and then it'll stop once it gets all the way in. But you can see here, when this slide comes in, it is basically right up next to that wall back there and you're not getting past that area. But if you got your key to your front door, you can come right on in through the front, still get to your refrigerator, kind of do some of the stuff that you might need to do up here in this area.
Again, guys, thank you for taking the time to watch my RV videos. I really do appreciate it, guys. And don't forget to check out the guys at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country, guys. Will definitely save you a lot of money on an RV. Thanks again, guys.